Anxiety can affect you because if you're stressed out at your work, you start shaking, you have an anxiety attack. It affects me. I think it affects everybody that lives in a society today. You start chewing your gum fast and tapping your leg. Really nervous, like in front of a stage or something, you get really stage fright. I, I just start to shake and my hands sweat. Your test and then causes you not to do as good as you probably could have done. When you get like really nervous and like, because me, like I want to be a singer, so I get really nervous. Uh, pressure and I usually get a little sweaty, you know, just the normal stuff. But uh, it can affect people in worse ways. Like some people have anxiety attacks and they have to have medicine for that. Like if they had a bad day at work and school and all that, it just stresses them out. It affects you because you stress out, you lose focus. It affects a lot of people in ways that can hurt their business or school. I get really red and sweaty. Hi, I'm Renee, and I'm your host for Teen Focus. On each episode of Teen Focus, we discuss a different topic that relates to teenagers. Last week, we talked about respect. We learned that it's very important to show respect for others as well as yourself. This week, we're going to talk about anxiety. Now, in the episodes before, we've touched on the subject a little, but we never actually talked about it in detail. Anxiety is basically distress or uneasiness of mind, caused by fear of danger or misfortune. Your teen years are what some may refer to as the best years of your life. But teen years can also often be times of high stress, difficult decisions, and soaring emotions. Today's teens were raised in an environment where they were surrounded by technology and were raised to know that faster is always better. The culture in America promotes a feeling of always having to get ahead, and this reflects on teenagers, especially who are still impressionable children trying to be adults. They're looking to the media as well as their surroundings to find their identity and who and what they're expected to be. Anxiety in teens can cause complications such as overeating, smoking, even depression and drug use. Some signs of anxiety are anger, depression, mood swings, fatigue, changes in sleeping and eating habits, compulsive or obsessive behavior, as well as secretive behavior. Did you know that 80% of teens are on some sort of anxiety medication? Parents and friends can help prevent some teens from becoming a part of this 80%. A big key to success in all relationships is extremely simple, listening. Teens want to know that they have people that they can rely on in hard times. They want to know that whatever they say will be accepted. Everyone likes knowing they have someone they can trust and who love them and want the best for them. Let your child or friend vent their frustrations to you and remember that no one wants their every move to be lectured and criticized when they're discussing their issues. Preventing anxiety in yourself is simple. Stay away from things that upset you. If something does upset you, you shouldn't hold all of your feelings in. Also, learn to be comfortable in your own skin. Don't let people or things like stress and insecurities cause you to second-guess yourself. Stay happy and keep things in your life that make you happy. If you think you may suffer from anxiety or anxiety-related issues, you should tell your parent or guardian. Don't worry, there are many different ways to get help. If you have any questions about anxiety, you can search the internet, ask a parent or doctor, or even call a help hotline. I hope you've learned a lot about anxiety in teens today. Well, I'm Renee, and I'll see you next time here on Teen Focus.